crea oportunidades eh, culturales y económicas para los artistas nativos americanos de producir y promocionar la semana Indian Market que ofrece el arte de más que 1100 de los mejores artistas en los Estados Unidos el tema de arte fino puede ser muy intimidante para alguna gente verdad pero sugiero que ellos vengan a disfrutar el ambiente de Indian Market porque es libre de pretensiones Good morning, Texas. The not so perfect parent. Out of the classroom can cause some academic delays. So Paul Nemi from Scholastic is here to discuss how summer reading can avoid the summer slide. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Well, the summer slide is the loss of academic achievement that most kids experience during the summer. Right. But we know from studies that that show that kids that read four or more books during the summer actually go back to school better prepared in the fall, which is great. And that's why we established the Scholastic Summer Reading Buzz campaign, which gets kids reading those four everyday moments right. to, to make them learning moments. So, you know, you never leave home without a book, whether you're going on vacation or if you're going to the beach or if, even if you're going to the grocery store, pack a book. It's Aquí en Nueva York las festividades ya han iniciado con una gran celebración organizada por la casa editorial Scholastic que ha convertido la calle Mercer en el mundo mágico de Harry Potter. Entre las 5 hasta las 11 vamos a tener una celebración atrás en la calle Mercer donde los fans pueden entrar y ver uh, ciertas atracciones como un árbol, el Whomping Willow de la serie, además un muggle board donde se puede dejar un mensaje eh, expresando cosas sobre la, la serie. Well, arts and culture blogger Paul Nimi is here with us today, and he's got the picks for heart-pumping Valentine's Day gifts that won't flatline. Nope. Mm. Nope. Years of culture have gravitated away from that concept of the paper Valentine that we remember from yes. our childhood, so um, expectations have really risen on the part of recipients. Mm -hmm. So finding that gift for your loved one, your friend, or your colleague can be really tricky. Recommend shopping locally. I do spend too. your dollars locally, mm -hmm. and then when you go out there to go shopping, mm -hmm. you know, think outside the box. While okay. chocolates and flowers are nice, you know, try to come up with something unexpected. You're more likely to get the response that you want by giving a unique, thoughtful gift beyond the tried and true. Now, now you're Italian, so you know yes. food equals love. Uh, of course, hello. Right. And while I recommend shopping <laughs> locally, yes. Cost Plus World Market is like your local gourmet shop. They mm. really treat you like family. Okay. And you can go in there and they can put together these wonderful gift baskets for you with local foods. Then Great gift. Nothing gets the heart pumping like New Mexico chili, right? Oh, of course. Okay, I'm so addicted. Cost Plus is offering this uh, exclusive two pack of the Hatch Green Chili Wine and the Chimayo Red Chili Wine. And this is my favorite. This, oh my this starts out really kind of warm and peppery. Go can ahead try and it? try a piece the chocolate okay the and then have the first. wine okay really mm. delicious this is perfect for a valentine's dinner or whatever it's just a perfect pairing really really amazing mm. okay now we're now let's talk about wow gifts yes wow. because you know those recipients really want something fabulous yeah. Another option for parents seeking a simpler time is, slightly ironically, backtobasictoys.com, which reissues popular pastimes of yesteryear. Everybody remembers when they see color forms, they're like, oh, I remember that one. Back to Basics carries old-time favorites like Lincoln Logs, the Chatterphone, the Bozo Bot Bag, Snoopy Snow Cone Maker, and the Jester Jack in the Box. Who didn't have a Jack in the Box when they were a kid? I had loads of fun cranking it up and having it pop out and scare me uh, at 1999. A program that just launched called Summer Reading Buzz encourages our kids to enjoy reading this summer, preventing them from falling behind when the back-to-school bells ring. Joining us this morning to explain is Paul Nemi from the Scholastic Store. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. And you me. brought some goodies. I did. Uh, this is an election year, so we brought along LaRue for mayor. And um, what I love about this book is the dog, the, uh, the candidate is actually a dog. So <laughs> kids can relate to that. It's a great opportunity to open the conversation about elections with your kids. Love it. And according to the Kids and Family Reading Report, we also know that the number one reason why kids read less is that they can't find books they like to read. Right. So it's really important for parents to get involved in reading with their children. As the anticipation grows for the final installment of the Harry Potter saga, 
fans can get a chance to feel a little like the wizard himself. CBS 2 Sun-Times columnist Bill Zwecker <laughs> outside with the details on the Harry Potter bus tour. Isn't this exciting, guys? I'll tell you, as you know, I was just in London doing the new Harry Potter film, but we're all about the books here today. J.K. Rowling's amazing series, and the seventh and final book is about to come out, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And we're so delighted to have Paul Nemi here today from Scholastic, the publisher of the books. And uh, tell us about this incredible bus. It's a real London bus. It is, actually. It's an authentic double-decker bus that has been redesigned to look like the triple-decker purple bus that is in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Kids uh, will be uh, going to the library today. They'll be making some videos. They can, they'll get a password when they get on the bus. They can hang out here. They can read books, kind of think about what they're going to say in their 20-second video that they'll be making in this booth back here. And of course, after they've made their video, they'll be able to log on to scholastic.com slash Harry Potter to watch their video.